Yeah, so I, I lost my legs in 2004 in um, just outside Fallujah in Iraq. I worked on uh, a bomb disposal team as an electronic specialist and um, I was blown up by a suicide bomber. The bullet went, uh, the first bullet went through my uh, helmet in my temple and bounced off the bottom of my eye socket and came out. Um, and the second one bounced off and ricocheted off the top of my helmet. <coughs> Due to that, that took me clean off my feet. <laughs> I don't think they will get a single person on this trip to say that we deserve any thanks. You know, I think we're all just doing a job, and unfortunately, it um, didn't work out very well, but it could have been a lot worse. You know, So I'm very grateful to still be alive. Um, Scheme for Heroes 2016 has helped me in a lot of ways and I think anyone that comes on the course is, is going to help them so much in the future, you know, if it's with PTSD to try and get their anxiety levels down and literally anything you can think of job-wise, uh, making new friends, I, there's so much I can't even say on the camera like how much you could have because there's so much and if everyone comes on it they'll like, realise this chat is amazing. What they, what you put in, is what you get out at the end of the week. It's made me believe more in my abilities uh, than the belief I had beforehand, like pre, pre cloisters skiing the trip. So, this isn't just an opportunity, opportunity to ski. It's an opportunity to maybe address the demons that that you might have. Doing something that absorbs me allows uh, those uh, those voices in my head to, to quiet a bit and allow the thoughts to become more ordered. You know, look back at all the troubles I've had, you know, gone through some real dark places and to, to see that I've come through it and carrying on with everything else, it's, you know, amazing. And I've gone back to my family and they said, this is the Dino we knew. We can see he's there, he's still there. We want more of him. And and it was difficult. Um, sorry. Uh, they've been through so much. So they deserved that, that effort, that, that me, to say, come on, get a grip. Here's your chance. Here's the regroup. But I think this charity's got that real uh, ability to not just offer the trip but they're making sure that veterans feel they've got support the buddies all of the staff are unbelievable you know i can see it in their eyes they just really love the fact of what they're doing here it has been a revelation the the trust that just exudes from everybody here has been fantastic and has allowed me to open up and that's what I think is one of the secret ingredients here. The, the charity brings back the challenge to our service veterans that have lived all our lives on challenge. And they've identified that and they've focused on it and they've used it as a, a fantastic method of switching that switch back on. Yeah, if any, anybody you know, feels that they want to get involved, just do it. First and foremost, thank you. You know, thank you for um, so for, for allowing me to come on this uh, amazing week with the rest of the guys. It's been uh, fantastic so far. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Thank you's almost well. Thank you's not enough. Thank you isn't enough. It's it, there, There's no word certainly in my vocabulary, or or a word in you know, in the English dictionary to express the the, the thanks. Thank you. It's been. It's been very, very touching. You know, I am very, very, very grateful. Very. Um, and I, you know, I guess there's people doing small unsung hero stuff that may never even see what it is that they've done. But, you know, I, I'd like to say thank you because, you know, it's put me in a much better view of the world. Yeah, so I'd say thank you to anyone who supported Scheme of Heroes. Um, it is an, an amazing charity. It's doing some great stuff. Um, and... Uh, Anyone who's thinking about getting involved, that would be very much appreciated from all of us anyway.